sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors, standing water or high humidity, nasty odors, or dangerous mold. Crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 23rd of February. I'm James Spann. Got a huge temperature contrast across Alabama today thanks to a front basically bisecting the state. And very active weather continues for the next several days. A complex forecast. Let's talk about it. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country today. Got a big trough in the west. And again, a southwest flow aloft here. We have an upper high in the Gulf of Mexico. There's the visible satellite view. Northwest Alabama, cloudy. Parts of northeast Alabama, sunny. South Alabama, partially sunny. There's the radar. Got a few little showers over West Alabama, Tuscaloosa, Fayette, uh, Lamar, Pickens counties. But most of the state dry. And that mess over Arkansas, much of that falling in the form of sleet this afternoon. And yeah, buddy, we've got a contrast. You've got Haleyville behind the front at 48. You've got the Shelby County Airport, 74. Pell City, 77 degrees. That's almost a 30-degree swing on either side of that front. And it's even more noticeable on the regional view. Memphis at 37 back in the cold air. Dothan at 81. And the front will pretty much become stationary tonight and move northward tomorrow. So if you're colder today, you'll be warmer tomorrow. Here's a look at the watch warning map across the country. Winter storm warnings in effect. From North Texas, including Dallas-Fort Worth, through parts of Oklahoma, much of Arkansas, Missouri, and to parts of Illinois, western Kentucky, northwest Tennessee, as they've got an icy mess with a lot of freezing rain and icing problems over the next 24 hours. Uh, major road problems and maybe some power outages there because of ice accumulation. Also, winter storm warnings back in the southwest states, Colorado, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and winter storm watches for parts of the northeast. So here's the severe weather outlook for the rest of today and tonight. No severe weather expected. Maybe some thunder for North Alabama at some point. But again, most locations will be dry tonight and tomorrow. And then tomorrow, a marginal risk just west of here, parts of Mississippi. Uh, there might be a storm there with a strong wind gust. No tornadoes expected. And then day three, Friday, no thunderstorms across the country. Here's the precipitation, the QPF for the next seven days. Heavier totals a bit north of here. For most of Alabama, rain amounts under one inch. In fact, down in southeast Alabama, hardly any rain at all for the next seven days. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow afternoon at 3. You can see troughing coming out of the Rockies into the Great Plains states down below that. An icy mess for parts of Arkansas, Missouri, and southern Illinois. But around here, it's going to be a mild day, dry mostly, just a small chance of a shower. A mix of sun and clouds with highs mid to upper 70s for the northern half of the state. And again, maybe some low 80s down in South Alabama, much like today. But Friday, the front comes back as a cold front. And that's going to bring rain in here Friday morning. Uh, it'll be well after midnight tomorrow night into Friday morning. This is uh, 9 o'clock Friday. No thunder, no severe weather. Probably not much rain. And once the front passes, we'll fall from the 60s into the 50s Friday afternoon. This is Friday at 3 and the rain is gone. Afternoon readings, uh, most likely mid-50s and maybe some clearing by mid to late afternoon Friday. So Saturday, again, that front just meanders back and forth. Uh, it looks like a cool day. Uh, some folks north of Birmingham could be in the 40s all day. And again, the clouds and maybe a few spotty showers, but the more widespread rain will likely come Saturday night. That's Saturday night at midnight, and this is Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. So a good chance of rain Saturday night and Sunday morning. And then by Sunday afternoon, the better chance of showers down in southeast Alabama. And again, the high Sunday should be in the middle 50s. Monday is sunny day. Highs uh, around 60. This is Tuesday. March 1st, sunny with mid-60s, and a week from today, Wednesday, March the 2nd, northwest flow aloft, and again, a dry, pleasant day. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, March 5th, kind of a wavy zonal flow, and that's suggesting maybe a couple of showers up in the Tennessee Valley, but the bottom line is next week for most of the state looks absolutely rain-free. Here's the rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean about 2 inches between now and the 10th of March. Temperatures cool down. Again, uh, Friday, that high of 61, probably coming early in the day, will be in the mid, low and mid-50s during the daytime hours. Highs for the weekend in the 50s. Then we warm up next week. Uh, low 70s are likely toward the end of next week. 
and hot off the presses. Got the brand new CPC outlook. This is for March 3rd through March 9th. Temperatures around here will likely be above average if this forecast verifies. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Sagging, bouncing, or uneven floors? Call Alabama Professional Services. Standing water or high humidity? Call APS. Nasty odors or dangerous mold? Call APS. Critters, bugs, or other pests? That's right, call APS. It's a fact, crawl space problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. Call Alabama Professional Services today, 205-926-1700.